Hello and welcome my sky high leaves. So here we are, Hirogaru Sky Purikyo, the newest show, the newest season in the Purikyo franchise. And after Delicious Party, review for that finale also out right now, I am looking really forward to this and tiny spoilers, oh that first episode is so good, so Let's get into it. Episode 1. I'm a hero girl? Cure Sky arrives. First, let's talk about this opening. Oh, this is such a good opening. I love this song. It's so good. And it has two more cures than these two inside of it. So, I wonder because, like, we get a lot of team shots of these two, but they do show those other two cures as... If they were part of the main team, but uh, I'm eager to find out what this is about because normally if they are part of a four member team, they would be included in a scene like this. Also, the trailers only focus on these two, so huh, I'm really intrigued. But now let's get into the meat of it. So, this is our main cure, Sora, and she is a blue cure. We are breaking the curse of the main cure being pink, which, like, if you think about Precure, Futariwa had the main cures being black and white, so, yeah, sure, there were pink highlights on black, but she was black as a main color, so, technically, it's in the DNA of Precure not to have pink as the main color. But ever since Precure S5, that is the case. Well, back to Sora. I really like her character. She is so upbeat and dynamic and I like characters like that. Also that outfit he she is wearing here is looking so cool. I would wear something like this easily. Just in green. And apparently in uh, Sky City, I don't have the name yet, they have a festival going on selling these blue stones. I was supposed to be able to to eat them? What are those exactly? Will we see them again? I wonder. There are little birdies walking around here and I want that green one in the back so much. Not as a plushie but like the real thing. Gimme! Oh please let those birds have a bigger role in the show like being support or something. I mean there's a fire breathing chicken here! Chicken! Breathing fire! A spicy chicken, basically. Hmm, now I'm hungry. Ah, so they are celebrating Princess Ellie's birthday here. A baby in a Precure show. Yeah, surely there will be nothing bad happening to it, right? And here we have a look at the first villain of the show. A punk pig. Oh, I dig this. This is so cool. Just give me more of it. And there we have a catchphrase. It's hero time. Yeah, it's... You know... But I kinda love it. No? It's so cool. Wait a minute. Something is not right in this picture. Hmm. I think his beard is a bit tilted. Also, calling it now... She might become a purple cure later in the series. I'm going just by the purple hair, but... You know, it happens a lot with those babies. And then he put her into a crystal ball. I hope this is electricity proofed. The shadow of his butt is a heart. Just wanted to mention that. Oh no, he's about to run into this cart, which means... I mean, this is just funny, do I have to explain it? Okay, just jumping casually from roof to roof. I mean, she appears to be not from our world, so maybe she has not superhuman powers, but like, is better than a human, kinda, at jumping at least? I mean, he is the villain here, right? But she's waiting like a boss. Wait, 
Is she planning to run into him? Ramming him? Are they playing baby rugby here? Oh, uh, you know, I thought she would run straight into him, ram him, which would have been so cool, but instead, we get something so much cooler by her jumping over him like this. Yes. And now she has a baby. Uh, wait, not like that. Okay. I'm really not into farting jokes. Then again, he named this attack Welcome to Heaven. <laughs> Go! Close your mouth, please! Okay, he has baby again, but is about to go through a portal. I mean, it would have been interesting if, like, the baby actually gets to be abducted by the evil guys and kept there. Though the opening clearly showed us this will not be the case, so I guess she's just jumping after him. She jumped after him. Poor. I'm listening. I don't know who cast Meteor here, but it did. Oh no! Her notebook! I bet this will be lost and not be found by a different character that will, in episode 2 or 3, also turn into a Precure. And they have to be friends to that... for that to happen. And I'm stumbling over my words. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, now, something tells me home is not where you will be. Oh. Is this show 18 plus now? Oh look! Pretty Holic branded notebooks. Get yours today for the measly price of I have no idea, but probably you can actually get those. So, pinky hair here is on an errand for her grandma to get rose oil? Cinnamon sticks and dried frog. You know what? Actually, I don't want to know. Yeah, that's all that. I mean, where would you buy cinnamon sticks? Oh, look what she found! What a weird coincidence! I would have never expected that. Alright, she's about to become a <clears throat> red cure on the ground. Oh. Ah, Ellie saves her with her magical, telepathical, whatever rickle powers. Good. I mean, this is a kid's show after all. Then again, looking at Digimon Ghost Game. Uh, never mind. Finally, a cure from another world. Who doesn't know all the things about our world that don't exist in her world, but is wondering what everything is. It just makes sense. It always baffled me how, like, I come from this magical world and there are no cars here. Oh, that's a car. I know that. For some reason. But this time around, they do that good. Now, the question here would be, who has the... Better dream. Ah, she noticed the notice, uh, the notebook. Well, she doesn't tell us what's written in it yet, but we now know that the sky land is called sky land. Well, that's not very imaginative. So our monster of the week will be created. How will they look like? Will they be, again, be thing with arms and legs? Or maybe they do way more with it. This is actually pretty cool looking. Ranborg is a name, I wonder what it means, but maybe we'll see a logical conclusion to that. But yeah, the enemy taken as it is, funnily enough, again, looks kind of like a Mega Man enemy. They do that a lot. Weird. But, yeah, I like it. 
a Cure-Tuber. They definitely know what Pre-Cure are by now. She still doesn't have any powers, but she runs straight at that giant enemy. Yes! Oh no, he got the Hero Diary. Uh, I guess we're gonna say goodbye to it. She does have to get one of those pretty holic ones after all. Now, I like her diary and her demeanor, but like... It also kinda is telling little children that if you have a fear of something that it hates, that's not okay. Not really what you should teach them, but um, you could also see it from the angle of Conquer your fears, which would be better, I guess. Oh, he actually rips it apart. It's actually destroyed. I wasn't expecting that, to be honest here. I thought maybe it will become the transformation item or something even, but... Oh. Well, there are those pretty holic ones. Oh! The evolution item is coming from... Inside of her, so I guess not everyone could technically be a precure in this case, which interesting. And it's a little pen with a little wing on it, which is actually a pretty cool design. I really like this. And Ellie here does the rest, whatever that rest is, but it will turn her into an actual cure. So Transformation item is a pen, but you need to transform it into a microphone for it to be the transformation item that transforms you. Why? So, this is our actual main cure, Cure Sky. I like that name and it fits this season very well. Also, I really like her outfit, especially those scarves that also are kind of like flags in the wind, you know? This is pretty cool and really screen sky. That is a very solid outfit. And then, and this is awesome, <laughs> she uses her attack, Hero Girl Sky Punch, to punch the enemy. Now usually cures do that. What isn't usual though is that the punch itself cures the enemy. Like, yeah you could call it destroy it, but it is pre-cure. It's all about turning back the enemies into what they were before, so cure them. And normally it's done with a big flashy attack, as you probably know. But no, she just punches and it cures. A healing punch. Wow. Also, I love that she cannot just simply fly, but only, like, jump very high and is light as a feather, basically, which doesn't make her too powerful, and also I think that looks way cooler than straight out flying. Yeah, that look. You should be very intimidated here. Yeah, you have that look on the face now, but wait until you transform. So, this was the first episode, and I am hyped to see more. I loved everything about this episode. It was so good. I just hope they keep up the pace, and we will get an extra cure that I actually like. I didn't hate Amane, but she kind of was boring and a tad bit annoying. <laughs> no, Laura, though. And Cure Earth before that was straight up boring, so here's hoping, but... That's still, well, some months off. So, tell me in the comments below what you think about this first episode. I'm eager to see what you have to say. And, while you're at it, don't forget to hop, step, and jump on the like and subscribe button as well as that little bell to keep updated. And, check out the links down in the description to my Twitter, Instagram, and Discord, where I keep you updated, post stuff, all the good things, to my merch store, there's an affiliate link for the Humble Bundle store, where you can get games if you want, and support me while you do that, which I appreciate very much if you do. 
And also, finally, to my Twitch, where I live stream every Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. I hope to see you over there as well, and until next time, bye. -bye.